What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. My name is Chris, and as you can see, my partner in crime, Mike, is not here today, but that's fine because I'm sitting with Sophie Grace. She is the new star of Lifetime's original movie coming out in October called Terror in the Woods. Sophie, how are you? Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. We were so excited to hear that that you were going to speak with us. Um, we did hear about this movie, and you know we're just excited because it looks like a really cool movie. I've got a lot of stuff to ask you. So uh, why don't we just jump right into it? So you play um, a girl named Caitlin, uh, who is one of two two girls who become who come under the power of uh, Suzerain. Am I saying that name right? Yes. Suzerain. So that that's the the evil monster entity. And so you guys come under the power, right? Can, tell tell us more about this movie and and what it's about. Well, Terror in the Woods is a story based on true events about mm -hmm. two girls who get really interested in a creepy internet character and as a sacrifice they attack their best friend and Oof. i'm the attacker oh you're one one of them right you, you're not doing it alone you have a you have a partner in crime in there right yeah she was the planner oh i see that sounds like a like a like a very crazy movie what made you want to do a role like this well reading over the script when i got the audition i really was like wow this character has some depth and it's based off a true story, so honestly, it was a little sad yeah. to hear because she was schizophrenic and she really believed what she was doing was right. So I guess it drew me to her because she had layers of a normal girl, but also a girl that needed help. Oh, so like yeah, like you say, a normal girl, but but also battling with something that you know not many people deal with, and yeah, that's that's kind of scary and kind of freaky. So then. Having said that, how do you how did you prepare for that role to get into that type of thing? A lot of research. I mean, you can never get away from school. <laughs> <laughs> Not only did I creep myself out with those online videos, oh. but my mom showed me a touching novel called "I Never Promised You a Rose Garden" by Joanne Greenberg. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. about a young schizophrenic woman and what she's going through, and it really helped me to think like Caitlin and understand her struggles. Wow. Okay. So you obviously knew about this story. How much did you know about this story, the, the real story, before starting or before even getting the audition? I didn't know much because it happened four years ago when I was only eight. But it had been on the news a little more recently. And once I got this audition, I like really got into it. And I was like, wait, I've heard about this. Yeah. So I was really researching, as I said. And mm. I mean, I learned everything there is to know. Oh. And like you said, it was probably pretty scary. Did you get to meet any of the people that were actually involved? No. No. Would you have wanted to? I don't know. I think <laughs> maybe I would have liked to talk to Caitlin and mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Well, Morgan Geyser. <laughs> right. Well, we'll call her Caitlin for now. Yeah. That, I mean, that, that's, that's pretty interesting. I mean, it definitely sounds like you, you did your, you know, homework, quote unquote, right? How was the mood on set? Because Mike and I were talking and, you know, it, on something like this, it just seems like it's, I mean, obviously, I'm sure you had a good time and everyone there, you know, seemed like they're wonderful people. But when that, when the director yells action, it's like, boom, right? So how was the mood? Like, how did it change from between takes and stuff? Well, everyone was very professional, but we all had so much fun on set, and we were all, like, really close, like we were a family. Yeah. But once once CJ said action and Dave started rolling the camera, everyone went silent and just watched as uh, we all performed. And it was just, it was a really great environment to work in, and I'm really grateful for it. That's cool. Yeah, it sounds like it was a very cool experience. So you said you, you heard about the story, obviously did the research. Now, but the monster behind the the real story there slender man did you know anything about slender man before any of this i actually had no idea what slender man was mm -hmm. when i heard of it because i didn't realize that these girls did this because of an internet character right i actually i didn't know much about the story as i said yeah <laughs> so once i the videos online those are creepy videos like i can see how they got really scared about it yeah it was like, of course, I watched them the night before the audition. Oh, just a pro tip: don't watch scary videos at night. It's <laughs> yeah. not a good idea. Right. Now I've I've definitely learned that lesson myself. Yeah. Uh, but sometimes we can't help it. Uh, the reason I ask you that is because, you know, 
knowing about us, the story behind, you know, the, the, the girls and everything that happened and then knowing Slenderman, like obviously, so Slenderman, do you know that that was a game, right? Um, they made video games about that. Did you ever play those games? No, <laughs> my friends and I were still like my little pony face. Okay. Okay. So, so, so that's cool. So you didn't have to, to see all that, but I mean, that's the crazy thing with this whole story. I knew of Slender Man before any of that happened. And I, I played the game and I used to stream it live on, on the internet. And, and then that happens and you're like, wow, you know? And so when we heard about this movie, it's like, um, cause you know, they did a documentary on HBO about it. And then hearing about this movie was like, oh, wow. You know, this is, this is interesting because you know, what we're excited to see is like you said, your portrayal of the schizophrenia or whatever issues were causing, you know, these little girls to go through that. I have children myself and just imagining that happening to one of my children, you know, it's like you probably feel the parents probably felt very helpless. And, you know, speaking of parents, um, the woman who plays your mom, Danny, was Angela Kinsey, right? Yes. Uh, were you familiar with anything that she was in, a.k.a. The Office, before you yes. met her? Okay. My, uh, my co-star and I, we both love The Office and we're still binge watching it together, like on FaceTime. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so excited that she was in the movie with us. That's cool. So how was it to work with Angela? She's a really, really great actor, and she was just so much fun to work with, and she was really sweet. That sounds really cool. We saw that she was in this movie, and we were like, oh, my wife and I. We, j we actually, two months ago, finished binge-watching the entire thing, and probably <laughs> next year sometime we'll start it again. We've, we've binged it like three times already, you know? That's, re that's really, really cool. So we, we spoke about, off camera, we spoke about school. So you obviously had to go to school when you were on set, right? Is that how that works? Yes. Yeah. Uh, three hours of school every day. My teachers from, cause I go to public school, mm -hmm. they were really, really nice about it. And they gave me the work for the month because it was the month that I was leaving. It was kind of like the month of review before our big, uh, yearly tests. Right. So they gave me all the review work and all the work that I would do. And I got my time to do it on set. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Were you, so you were working and then you had to stop and break for school and then go back to work. Was it like that? As, in some cases, yes, and then some cases it was like, okay, you don't have a scene for a little while, you go to school now, and then right, you're yeah. stuck, and then go back. Yeah. Sometimes it was split up, and sometimes it was just like, some days we just came in for school and like three scenes. Okay. Did that take you, when you had it split like that, did it ever take you out of the character at all? I mean, I guess I got really good at coming in and out, because when you go home at night, it's not always the character you want to always be. Yeah. So I guess I got good at going in and out of it because my co-stars and I, we had a lot of fun during school and we still did our work. But then once, once that camera started rolling, we both, we all got right back into it. Nice. That's very cool. Very professional. That's that, right. That's, that's a, it's a good trait to have in the business. So you're on, are you on the, your press tour now? Or are you about to go on a big press tour? I'm about to go on. You're about, all right. So we're getting you right before. That's cool. Tell me about that. Are you excited? What, what, what do you think you can expect on that? I'm really excited. I don't really know what to expect. I mean, I've never done this before, mm -hmm. but I'm enjoying the dress shopping. Oh, <laughs> oh that's cool. That's going to be pretty cool. Where are you guys going? Are you, do you have like, is it all set up? And um, I know we're going to Sacramento and Tulsa and a few more. Cool, cool. I'm sure you'll find that. It doesn't matter, right? As long as you're getting on there and you're doing the thing, right? Yes. Uh, so let's uh, switch gears a little bit. What made you want to become an actor? What got you into acting? I don't know if I ever really got into acting. I was kind of like born an actor and I okay. always won, yeah. which is really weird in my family because all my siblings are, like love sports. Like we are <laughs> a sport family. So it's kind of strange when I was like, hey, I want to do acting classes. <laughs> And because I've always been a storyteller, like that's, as I said, who I am. And yeah. I'm just really happy about it. That's that's so cool. We watched the Over the Hill Grand Prix. Tell me what that was like uh, to make that thing. And was that for, uh, what was that? What was that for? What was that whole short film for? That was just a short film for a short film. Okay. It was really fun. We filmed on weekends and I really enjoyed being in it. It was it was really fun. I showed my kids and we were all laughing and uh, it looked like it was a really like, you know, fun, fun thing. As far as filmmaking process right now, what would you say is your favorite part of that whole process? I really love as much as I love being on set and I love all that stuff. I really love learning about new characters and making new friends. It's probably the best part because you get to be someone you're not, but it really is still who you are. And I think that's so cool. 
Ah, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so you get to be this new thing, new person, but inject a little bit of yourself into that. That's definitely got to be fun. That's that's part of the creative process, like like you said, and that's what you love to do. That's really, really cool. It's very cool that you get to do that, you know what I mean? Especially at a young age. Not many people have that opportunity, so it's really, really cool. How about this? Do you like scary movies? I'm a thriller kind of person. Like, I love roller coasters. I love creepy stuff. So, yeah, I was really excited to be in a scary movie. Movie. Cool. What is your favorite scary movie? Horror film would be Annabelle, but I do also like the like crime recreation kind of things. Mm-hmm. So my mom and I, we always watch 48 Hours and that kind of thing. Oh, those things. I, sometimes I won't even watch those things. <laughs> <laughs> Got a leg up on me on that. Going back to Terror in the Woods, I heard that you filmed in the town that Stranger Things filmed in. Yes. How was that? Was there anything... Uh, well, I mean, are you a fan? Have you been wa- have you watched that? Have you binged that like everyone else? <laughs> yes, who hasn't? Cool. It's a really, really cool show. And actually, some people on our set worked on that set, too. Oh, cool. Because we filmed in the same spot, and they were usually, like, local. Like, some of the makeup artists, some of the... Uh, a really- lot of people from the crew and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the crew. Very, very cool. Were there any things that you noticed that um, that you saw when you were there that you were like, hey, I think I remember that from an episode or anything? Well, actually, when my dad one week was driving me to set, we passed by a school. Mm-hmm. And he was like, I think that's the school that they film at Stranger Things. And I was like, wait, really? So we just like driving down. Sometimes we'd be like, they walked down that road. And it was just, it was super cool to see that kind of stuff. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool, especially to, to see that and be like, I can't believe this is where they were too. That's very cool. Um, so this movie is coming out just in time for Halloween. Um, I take it you're a fan of Halloween then as well? Halloween is my favorite holiday. <laughs> I agree. It's also mine too. What's your favorite Halloween costume? Well... Last year, my friend and I were Mario and Luigi, and that's probably my favorite one that we that I've been. Yeah. <laughs> Usually, I was like Ariel or Tinkerbell or Dora. Right, so right. I was probably because we like got really creative with our costumes, and we did like white tutus and cute T-shirts and hats and mustaches. Oh, that sounds really really cool. Yep, Halloween is definitely definitely a fun a fun time. I know my kids love doing it. We're actually going to Comic Con this year, and we're all dressing up as Inklings from Splatoon Two. <laughs> I'm actually building, I've got, I've got the, the ink tanks in the background over here. I'm still working on the ink tanks for all of us. Cool. Yeah, it should be pretty fun. Have you ever gone to Comic-Con or do you want to go to Comic-Con? That sounds like something I would definitely enjoy, but I've never gone before. Oh, well, we got to talk to Lifetime and see if we can get you guys, get you guys over there or something, right? For the, to promote the show or something, right? Yes. Why don't we, I guess we can start wrapping it up here. Do you have any advice for any, for you? other young people who want to get into acting. So you've been doing it, you've been, you've been this person your whole life, but what advice would you give to someone who, who is like yourself and doesn't know maybe how to get into it or where to go, or what to do? Well, what I've learned is you don't have to be in Hollywood to be an actor. Like I live in Florida and just try to get involved with local things like classes or school plays or community theater, or local short films and try out for roles. It, even if you don't get the role, still volunteer to be in the production because you can learn so much from being on set. Right. And I'm sure it's all, it's all practice anyway, either way, right? Yes. So what's next for you, Sophie? What, what do you, you, know, you got this tour coming up for this movie, but then what's next? What other projects do you have on the line? Well, fingers crossed, a comedy with Jennifer Aniston because wow. why not? Wow, yeah, absolutely. That would be so cool. Yeah, but for right now, I'm just really happy with talking about this movie because I know this kind of thing doesn't happen every day. And mm-hmm. I'm just really excited for my future and this movie's future. Cool. Well, we're very excited for you as well. And we're, we're happy that you were able to come and sit and talk with us. So, Sophie, tell us where everyone can reach you on social media. At Real Sophie Grace on Instagram. You heard it, everybody. You can get to her on Instagram. So that's going to do it. So, guys, the movie comes out on Lifetime, on Lifetime Channel. It's October 14th, I believe, at 8 p.m. Or you just check your local listings. I've always wanted to say that. Now I have. There we go. Sophie, thank you so much. You are um, a wonderful person. It was so fun to talk to you. Come back anytime to talk about anything you want. We wish you the best of luck. Have fun on your tour. And we will see you uh, next time. So thanks. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Have a great day. If you like Into the Badlands, don't forget to check out some of our interviews with some of the show's creators and actors. 
And if you're like us and you love the 80s, why not check out the Retro Squat YouTube channel? Or you can click one of the videos right here.